In this video, we're going to look at manually selecting cross sections for our beams in Karumba. Come on over here to Rhino. Um, and this should be picking up where we left off after the mesh load video. Um, I have edited my mesh load to have a more accurate value rather than negative one kip per foot squared. I have uh, negative 0 0.12531 kips per foot squared, which should be equivalent to your uh, negative six kilonewtons per meter squared. Um, so that's set. So we're going to come over here. And uh, so what we're looking at here is selecting a specific cross section for our, our beams in Karumba. And we're going to do that with three components. One of them is to reference an external table of data about cross sections. The other is to select the cross section, and then you can either input a panel or a slider to select the specific cross section. And then that all plugs into the assemble component, which plugs into the model view and analyze and beam view. Beam view is the one that's actually displaying these cross sections. So to get these components, um, you can start with your cross section select. So you double click, start to type cross. Cross section range selector is the one that we want. Um, that is not true. Let's type cross. Cross section selector is the one that we want. And then we want to reference our table. So you double click and type read. And then uh, this is the one we want the top one. Read cross section table from file. And go ahead and plug in that cross section to here. And then uh, for this one, I have a slider between 370 and 640. And that's become the, because those are, that's the range of the US uh, W sections, which is what we want to look at. But if you wanted to see all of the beams that were, beam cross sections that were available, you can plug a panel into the cross section and you can scroll through this. And there are a variety of European standards and hollow square tubes and other kind of steel sections. But for this um, exercise, we want to look at these Ws. So if you set this between 370 and 640, you'll get that full range. Um, so once you have those plugged in, then you can go ahead and slide through and see how the various cross sections affect your deflection.